Hi guys, um, Tim here. So essentially, I got asked by many people how to install Python and uh, open source libraries uh, such as uh, CT, CCXT library. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install them step by step. Right, um, let's get started. So first of all, um, to install Python, so you got to go to this website, okay? So just uh, copy it, open your internet browser, and so copy it here. All right. All right, so now we are in the website. Now just um, download the latest versions, okay? So click on download. So the um, the Python installation file is downloaded. So here. All right. So uh, so once uh, it's uh, downloaded, so you want to open the file. So I already downloaded it here. All right. Just uh, click on it. Right. So I think I would use this one. All right, we come up to here and so you select uh, customize installations. So you got to stick in here, add Python to the bus. So basically what it does is actually ask the, the directory where the Python is installed uh, in your computer environments variable so that's the Python functions uh, commands can be executed anywhere in your computer okay so you don't need to go to specific folder where the Python is installed to execute the commands okay so you can stick it here okay select uh, customize installation so you tick all the boxes here all right so go to next all right so uh, so this is where you can choose uh, which directory in your computer you want to install Python so I want to to select my directory so this is this is the directory I want the Python to be installed so D Right, and you can go to so Python. Right, so here we are. So this is a directory I already re created before. So I want Python to be installed in this folder. Okay, and click in here. Click OK. Right now, uh, click uh, install button here. All right. Python is uh, being installed. So Python is uh, being installed. You got to wait, uh, I think, about for ten minutes to complete uh, the installation. Okay, just uh, be patient to wait for it to finish.
All right, guys. Um, the Python installation is uh, complete. All right. So uh, close it. Now uh, the next step is to check, um, make sure that your uh, the Python, uh, the the folder where Python install is uh, included in your computer environment variable. So what can you do? So on your computer, so at the bottom of your computer, I guess uh, in the search box, you type in invite. All right, so click in here to open. And you click on environment variables. All right, and go to the bus here. So you see, you see the, the folder where my Python is installed is included in my computer environment variable okay so it's good All right click ok click ok now next step is to install bip pip so basically stand for python installation package so basically this uh, facilitates uh, enables to install open source uh, you know uh, tools yeah, very uh, conveniently. Okay, so you don't need to go through a uh, very complicated uh, process. All right, let's do it. So uh, you got to download the uh, get pip doc pi from this website. So just copy the link of this website. So put in here. All right, uh, you click on here. Okay, gigs, www, gigs for gigs, dot all. So what we try to do is uh, actually you want to try and download the file. So you go down, you go down. So just, uh, okay, I want to close this one. Right, I want to go down. So this is um, so this is the file I want to download. So you click on the links. So you want to download the the, the file get dash bit dot pi. So click on it. All right. So actually, we don't care about what uh, what's the inside. Right, just let it uh, finish the opening. Right click, right click, and you want to save. So you want to, to save this file actually um, in the folder where your Python is installed. So uh, I want to go to the folder where my Python is installed, so it's a Python here, right? And the name of the file is a get dash bit dot pi. All right, you just go into the folder, all right? So you save this one. So I already have the file in my folder, so it's plain, okay? Right, uh, so next thing you want to do is to install the pip, right? So, so what you're going to do, you open a command prompt from the computer. So under, at the bottom of the computer, type in com, right? So this is what you want to open. Right, so right, I want to I want to execute this command Python get dash p dot pi. So basically, I just copy this command. 
I want to hook in here. Control V. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so what you say is a Python cannot find the file. So what you go, you got to go to a directory where your Python is installed. So just type in cd. Right. Now go to D. Right. Go to Python 3.10. So if you want to find, if you want to find out where um, your Python is installed, so at the bottom of your computer, you type uh, Python, right? Okay. Then, uh, and you got to click on this uh, selections, open file location. So you want to find out uh, which folder your Python is installed. Right. Uh, so it's actually it's not this one. Uh, So I want to go to the the folder where my Python is installed. My Python is installed under this folder. Okay, uh, Python three point ten point zero, right? Three point ten point zero. Click on it and uh, execute this command again. Right. All right, uh, please wait for the pip to be installed in your computer. Now pip is uh, being installed. All right, so the pip is installed successfully in my computer. So next step, you what you're going to do. You want to check that pip is installed properly. Just um, type in this command, right? I just copy this command. So I want to look in here. So this command is uh, basically for, still for checking that the pip is installed properly in your computer. All right. So don't worry about this one. This is just the uh, the virus software, okay? Checking that uh, something's funny is running on my computer. So I want to close this one. It's actually, I want to close this one, no problem. All right, so uh, so essentially, BIP is installed uh, properly in my computer. Right, PIP version 21.3.1, but don't worry. Next step, what you're going to do, you're going to install uh, CCXT library. So basically, uh, many tools and box running on MT5 platform uh, use this li library to connect to crypto exchanges like Binance. Yeah, um, you know, uh, yes, uh, FTX, etc. So we go to install them. Right, so what we're going to, to do, you going to execute this command, you just copy this command, right, under this one, All right, control V, so you don't use the timings, and the command, control V, copy, copy it from this one, and under your command prompts, just control V, right. All right, so CCXT, CCXT already installed my computer, so so everything so okay. Right, so uh, I think uh, I think that's it for installation of Python and CCXT library. So if you have any uh, question or comments. Please uh, book them down below the video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.